Okay, in this video we're doing question two of the My I Maths exercise on adding and subtracting fractions. And the first question I've got is two fifths plus three eighths. So the first one is two fifths plus three eighths. Now the problem with that is that they've got different denominators. One is a fraction out of five and one is a fraction out of eight. So I need to write both of those fractions as something out of the same denominator. I need a common denominator for 5 and 8. So just counting up my 8s, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. 5 and 8 both go into 40, so I can write them both as fractions out of 40. Um, there are other ways, better ways to find the lowest common denominator than to just count numbers, um, but we'll see those in MYP2. So anyway, I want to get a fraction that's out of 5 to something that's out of 40. So 5 goes into 40 8 times, so I'm multiplying by 8 over 8 to get 16 over 40. 2 fifths is the same as 16 over 40. I didn't multiply by 8 there. Notice I multiplied by 8 over 8, which is just like multiplying by 1. And then the next one, 3 eighths, I need to get into a fraction out of 40. So I need to multiply by 5 over 5 to get from eighths into 40ths. So 3 times 5 on the top is 15. So 3 eighths is the same as 15 fortieths. So again, I didn't multiply by 5. It didn't get 5 times bigger. I just multiplied by 5 over 5, which is like multiplying by 1. Um, 3 eighths is exactly the same as 15 fortieths. Anyway, having got everything into fortieths, I can just add up the tops and make a big fraction out of 40, and that's 31 out of 40. So let's just fill that in. 31 out of 40. Um, and then the second question, let's go over here. 9 tenths minus 1 15th. So there's 9 tenths minus 1 over 15. What I would like is for those two fractions to be out of two numbers at the bottom, two denominators that are the same as each other. So I need something that 10 and 15 both go into. Well, I, I spot straight away that they both go into 30. So I can write both of those as fractions out of 30. So 1 15th as a fraction out of 30, I need to multiply by 2 over 2. So 1 15th is the same as 2 30ths. And then this one, to get from tenths to thirtieths, I need to multiply by 3 over 3. So 9 tenths is the same as 27 thirtieths. So I've got 27 thirtieths minus 2 thirtieths. So bearing in mind it's uh, a minus this time. 27 minus 2 is 25 on the top. And then on the bottom, the 30 stays the same, so 27 thirtieths minus 2 thirtieths is 25 thirtieths. Now actually I notice here that 25 and 30 can be reduced because they both have a common factor of 5, so I can divide by 5 fifths, which is just like dividing by 1 really. I'm not making it 5 times smaller, I'm just writing it in a different way. So 25 divided by 5 is 5, 30 divided by 5 is 6, so that's the same as 5 sixths. So here it is, 5 on the top, 6 on the bottom for 5 sixths, and the next question is 3 eighths plus 5 twelfths.
Okay, three eighths plus five twelfths. Twelfths is a word that a lot of Danes have problems with. Um, whenever I say it, twelfths. Anyway, um, so I need to write both of those as something out of the same number. So I need something on the bottom for the denominator that 8 and 12 both go into. So if I count my 12s, 12, 24, 8 goes into 24, so I can write both of these as fractions out of 24. So to get from a fraction that's out of 8 to a fraction that's out of 24, I need to multiply it by 3 over 3, which is just like multiplying by 1. It's not getting any bigger or smaller. It's just written a different way, 9 over 24. And then to get from a fraction out of 12 to a fraction out of 24, I need to multiply by 2 over 2. Again, just like multiplying by 1. And uh, 5 twelfths times 2 over 2 gives me 10 twenty-fourths. So it's 9 twenty-fourths plus 10 twenty-fourths, which makes 19. Add up the tops, bottom stays the same, 19 twenty-fourths. So let's fill that in on my IMAT screen. 19 over let me fill that in 24 and the next one is 10 elevenths minus 2 ninths okay 10 elevenths minus 2 ninths so I need to write those out of a common denominator 9 and 11 both go into 99 which happens to be 9 times 11 so there's there's no smaller common factor than that. So to get from 10 elevenths to something out of 99, I'm going to have to multiply top and bottom by 9. So multiply by 9 ninths. So 10 elevenths is the same as 90 over 99. And then 2 ninths, to get that into something out of 99, I'm going to have to multiply by 11 over 11. So uh, 2 times 11 is 22, so 2 ninths is the same as 22 90 ninths. So I've got 90 90 ninths minus 22 90 ninths. So I just subtract the tops. Uh, 90 minus 22 is 68, and the bottoms stay the same, 99. So that makes 68 90 ninths. So I filled that in on iMaths, 68 over 99. And the last two questions, write your answers as mixed numbers. So 5 eighths plus 11 twelfths. And then I want to write those two out of a common denominator. So I need something that 8 and 12 both go into. Um, they both go into 24. So I want to write them both as fractions out of 24. So to get from something that's out of 8 to something that's out of 24, I need to multiply by 3 over 3. So 5 eighths is the same as uh, 5 times 3 is 15, 15 24 fifths. And 11 twelfths, I need to multiply it by 2 over 2 to make it from a fraction that's out of 12 to a fraction that's out of 24. So 11 twelfths is the same as 22 over 24. And then having got them out of a common denominator, 24 fourths, I just add the tops. So 15 plus 22 is 37. So that's the same as 37 out of 24. And then I just ask myself the question, how many 24s can I get out of 37? Well, that's just 1 with 13 left over. So the final answer is 1 and 13 24ths. So filling that in on the iMaths, 1 and 13 over 24. 
And then the last question, 7 ninths plus 8 elevenths. 7 ninths plus 8 elevenths. So again, I need a common denominator, and that common denominator is going to be 99. 9 and 11 both go into 99. To get from ninth to 99th, I'm going to need to multiply by 11 over 11. So that becomes 77 99 ths And to get from uh, 11th to 99th, I'm going to have to multiply by 9 over 9. So 8 11th becomes 72 99 ths So now that I've got the denominators the same, I can make a big fraction out of 99. 77 plus 72 makes 149. Had to think for a minute there. So add up the tops, the bottoms remain the same. 149 out of 99. And then I ask myself the question, because that's top heavy, I'd like to write it as a mixed number. I ask myself the question, how many 99s can I get out of 149? And the answer is 1 with 50 left over. So that's 1 and 50 99ths.